and we're going to do student checkup word 1-2 and um, it's going to be on pages 112 and 113 of your uh, college technology and survival kit uh, textbook so that's in the uh, second revised preliminary edition so if you have, if you have a different edition it might be on a, on a different page but so we're going to go ahead and start this by opening up the Word document that we ended with on the last uh, exercise. So there's a couple ways you can do that. I'm going to go ahead and just click on my uh, File Explorer, uh, depending on which software you have, right? You know where you saved it, so go find it and open it up. And I'm going to go ahead, I have it on my thumb drive here. I'm going to go ahead and open that, and it's in my Word Chapter 1 folder. So I can go ahead and double click on that and open it up. So here I have it. So what I'm going to do first, it says, go ahead and hit the control, hold down the control, right? So I'm holding down the control and hit N. N typically is a key that's over in the top right side or the right side of your keyboard. Um, it says N and it's going to be over there. So um, if you have a hard time with that key, like if you're on a laptop and you don't really quite see it or anything, just go ahead and click. Uh, at the end of the, the paragraph that you got there and your cursor will be there, right? But that's just a little trick. So we want to go ahead and hit enter here so we can kind of move down one space and get ready to copy and paste some text over. You can if you want to. So in the textbook it gives you the text and you can go ahead and type that out here if you would like. I provided the text in Canvas so you can go ahead and open up Canvas uh, assignment page and here is the text here. So go ahead and we can click uh, right before within, drag down, hold your left uh, mouse button down and drag down to the bottom corner after the word Marvels. You want to make sure to include that last period after Marvels. And then uh, you can let up your left mouse button and you're going to want to click, right click in the blue somewhere or you can, uh, on your keyboard, you can uh, Select Control C, which will copy all of that text and put it in your in the clipboard memory of the computer. And then you can go back to your Word document, and you're going to want to do Control V, which is going to allow you to uh, paste that in. Or you can right click. Uh, you can also use this paste button up here. So it will paste it wherever the cursor is, right? So this the blinking cursor here is going to be where we're going to paste. All right, so there it goes. Threw it all in there. Okay, and so now what we're going to do is it's going to have us um, take one of the paragraphs, right? So it's going to take our the last paragraph that, you, that we have here, which is the summer, starting with the summer here. And we're going to do the same thing like we just did, right? So we're going to go ahead and click it and select the whole paragraph here. And then instead of copy and pasting, what we're going to do is we're actually going to cut this out and we're going to put it uh, before our first paragraph. So to cut the control X is our keyboard shortcut. Uh, you also have cut up here. So what that does is it doesn't necessarily uh, delete it, right? So it's going to put it on the on our clipboard out there in storage and we can paste it back in somewhere, right? So we're going to paste it right before our uh, first paragraph is where we're going to put this. So it says place your mouse pointer at the beginning of the paragraph that starts with the Snake River and press Control uh, V, which is going to give us the paragraph there. So you see we just threw that paragraph in there. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go up and we're going to uh, do some uh, exploring here with our views. So we're going to go up here and click on view and we're going to click on the ruler tab. All right. So this is with the ruler on it shows right so it's going to show our rulers to the left and top. If we click our ruler off it's not going to show our rulers anymore. So the, the ruler selection is important to help you kind of understand where you're at on the page and what your tabs are and your spacing, your margins. So we're going to do that. We're going to go ahead and turn the ruler on if it's not already on, just so you know where that is. And then we're going to go over to the left stop, uh, tab stops, right? So it's going to be right over here in the corner. There's the left tab stop. 
and we're going to make sure that the tab stop is set uh, to the left, right? So we can we can click through this and we can toggle through, right? So I clicked it center. Now it's right. We're going to want to make sure it's on the left setting, which is right. I'm going to keep toggle, toggling through. It's right there. All right. So now that I know that my tab stops are set to the left, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click with my cursor right here on the quarter inch mark, right? So this large line is a half inch. Of course, the one is one inch. So right in between the beginning of my margins and the quarter inch here, I'm going to go ahead and click. Okay, so there we go. So we got our left uh, tab stop there. Now what we can do is we can go down at the beginning of each of our paragraphs, right? So now the cursor is in front of the Summer Provides Idahoans, right? That first paragraph. And I can go ahead and hit the tab key. Okay, so what I'm going what I'm going to need to do is I'm going to need to place my cursor down here, right? Right ahead of the Summer Provides Idahoans here. And I'm going to click uh, right here on the quarter inch. So I'm going to do it right uh, below the quarter inch mark here and it'll place the left tab. Then I can hit tab and then, then it has a quarter inch tab on there. So where you click with your with your um, pointer is important. If you get up too high onto the ruler it's not going to apply the left tab. You got to be kind of down towards the bottom there. Um, you got to have your cursor ahead of the right paragraph as well, right? So as I click down onto the Snake River here, the next paragraph, right? And I'm able to, now that I'm down here, I'm able to go ahead and hit tab and move that a quarter inch as well. So now it's set for the rest of my document, right? This one, it's not set, so I can go ahead and set it real quick and then hit tab. There we go. And this one is not set as well, so I can go ahead and set it as well and hit tab. And there we go. So that's really what it should look like at the end. Now what I need to do is I need to save my document. So right now we can look up at the top in the middle and we can see that my document is not saved with the correct name. This is the old document I've been working with. Okay. So what I can do is I can hit on file over on the left here, save as, and I can uh, just make sure that I'm in the right location. Yeah, it looks like right here that I'm in my Word chapter one folder file. See that right there. I need to change my name, the name of my file here from 1-1 to 1-2 and hit save. And there we go. We can see up on the top that it's been updated and I have it saved. So I can go ahead and close that and submit that file up to the submission link in Canvas. Thank you.